This week, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's visit to the United States sparked nationwide outrage. Thousands of Americans took to the streets protesting his presence and address to Congress. The anti-Israel protests that are going on right now outside this building, not that many, but they're there and throughout the city. Well, I have a message for these protesters. You have officially become Iran's useful idiots. But the protesters had their own message for Netanyahu, implicating him for crimes against humanity and genocide of the Palestinians. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden has held a special meeting with Netanyahu, as well as Vice President Kamala Harris. Prime Minister, and I look forward to our conversation. We'd love to talk about it. These meetings took place amid public outcry and growing tensions, along with a current request from the International Criminal Court for an arrest warrant for Netanyahu. The protesters in D.C. were met with severe brutality, with footage showing law enforcement using pepper spray and batons against the crowd. <laughs> The brutality of the police that we are seeing here today is, is appalling. You know, I pleaded with them. How can you consciously put your head on the, on the pillow and sleep at night? Do you, sir, have kids? Do you have kids? If you have kids, how can you sleep watching the, the mothers of Palestine picking up the limbs of their kids, of their young ones, or not recognizing them, or, or kids writing their names on, her, on their hands? Because it's insane to follow orders and protect a genocidal maniac who's invited by your government. You guys, you guys should be leading this protest. You guys should be spearheading this protest. You guys should be protecting us and arresting them.